Hey, God bless you name by name and person by person. We want to encourage you to hang out here with us just for a few moments on the daily reminder. Once again, this gives us an opportunity to share a verse or two, a thought, hopefully a nugget that you can carry with you, or even better yet, that will carry you through the day. And once again, this just gives us the, the platform to remind you of things that you do know, things that you have known. Maybe this is fresh for some of you, but we see through the principles of the New Testament writers that being reminded of the things that we do know again and again and again, having repetition like that, it's safe for us. Again, Paul writing to the church of Philippi, chapter 3 and verse 1, he says, finally, brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same thing to you again, for me it is not grievous or tedious, but for you it is Safe. I know sometimes we get this attitude of, well, I know that. You hear something out of a passage that you've heard before, well, I know that. Listen, the Bible is clear that we need to be reminded of the things that we do know. Let me give you one of those verses. This is in the New King James Translation, Psalms 22, verse 3. The Bible says, but you are enthroned in the praises of Israel, of your people. Now, this is a principle. This is what the writer is saying. This is what David is saying. When praise goes up, God moves in. When praise goes up, God moves in. And you need to understand, you can change the atmosphere just through praise. Because sometimes the atmosphere, certainly in just living life, just living in this world, and certainly in the season that we're in, the atmosphere can be heavy, it can be weighty, it can be dark, there can be confusion, there can be chaos. That sometimes can be the atmosphere, but praise, lifting him up, singing to him, Letting shouts of joy and declaring his goodness, that kind of praise, it clears the atmosphere. This is, this is a principle. This is a principle. And when the Bible says that God is enthroned in the praise, it literally means that, that the throne of God, when praise is released, God's throne is moved into the atmosphere. Listen, every throne has a king. So when God is enthroned and when the throne comes, the king comes with him. And listen, when the king comes... We have access to the kingdom. We have access to everything that he has promised. You can change the atmosphere by praise. And again, it's not something that just happens on a Sunday morning or here and there through the week. Praise should just be a part of the Christian life. Praise should be just a part of the Christian life. Praise is not just songs. Praise is just saying, Father, I praise you. Thank you for Jesus. We praise you for his great love and how you demonstrated your love for us through him at the cross. Praise is just declaring who he is, thanking him for what he's done what he is doing. Let me just share this one last thought with you. Listen, when the Bible says he's enthroned, this is not just a visit. God doesn't come just to hang out. Listen, when the Bible says that he's enthroned, when you look at the Hebrew language, it means that he comes to dwell. He comes to remain. He comes to abide. He comes to stay. He comes to settle in. Praise needs to be a part of our life every day, every moment. God bless you. Change your atmosphere.